네, 안녕하세요, 여러분. 네. 얀네님, 링메리님, 하니님, 네. 곤차로우님, 안녕하세요. <웃음> 메리빈님, 안녕하세요. 네. 벤디스티님, 반갑습니다. 안녕하세요. 잘 지내셨나요? 네, 지, 지난주에 한주 쉬었는데, I, uh, I got a test last week, and so I couldn't do the le, uh, streaming last week. But it's good to be back, good to be back. To see you, everyone. 캐리님 안녕하세요. 특별한 내에 대해 말해도 될까요? 어, 말해도 됩니다. <웃음> 감사합니다, 캐리님. 항상 감사합니다. 네, 제프님 안녕하세요. 네, greeting. 네, 잘 지냈나요? How are you, Jeff? 네, the weather is very nice today. 예, 날씨가 너무 좋아, 좋네요. 네, 그래서 기분이 좋은데 여러분도 기분 좋길 바랍니다. 안녕하세요 선생님 제가 왔어요 어우 oh, 예 yeah, 오랜만이네요 보고 싶어요 선생님 어우 oh, 야 yeah, 고맙습니다 타타유님 네 탈리아님 네 탈리아 감사합니다 램프님 hey just wanted to say that your channel is so awesome and helpful it's simple and to the point yeah your videos are also amazing for visual learners thank you oh you're welcome 램프님 음 thank you for saying so <웃음> and that makes me happy about what I have done So, thank you so much, Lamp 님. 생일 축하드려요. 0602. Happy birthday, teacher. 0602. Oh, 감사합니다, 캐리 님, for re remembering my birthday. Yesterday, uh, June 2nd was my birthday. Right now it's June 2nd in the United States. So, <laughs> so 감사합니다, 캐리 님. 네. 시험은 어땠어요? 시험. 아, 아쉽지만 음, 아디, 음, 잘 떨어졌어요. 네, 떨어졌어요. 아마도 <웃음> 살짝 좀 어려웠는데, 네, maybe, 아, maybe just 그 maybe not, maybe or maybe not, but I don't know. <웃음> let's see, let's see. 선생님의 생신이에요? 아, 네, 맞, 맞습니다. <웃음> 감사합니다. <웃음> 네, 고맙습니다. 링메리님, 얀네님, 제프님. 네, 생신 축하드립니다. 고맙습니다. 네, 그럼 바로 수업 시작하겠습니다. 네, week number 122, 122번째 주, 2023년 6월 3일, 네, 토요일 오전 9시, 네, 단어 공부, vocabulary lesson을 시작하겠습니다. 네, 얀네님 고맙습니다. 네, 오늘의 첫 번째 단어. The first word of today is 마련. Word number 1381. 81st, yeah, I would say. So, 마련. Do you know what 마련 means? 네, 권철아버님, 고맙습니다. 감사합니다. 마련, 마련. What does it mean? 마련. Uh, maybe in these two cases, 마련 is very similar with 준비. 준비. But the difference is uh, when it comes to 준비. Uh, I just write it down. When it comes to 준비, it can be used either way, like preparing for materials, yeah, preparing materials, or Mentally preparing. Either way, that's 준비. Mm. Oh, Mary B님. 네, 감사합니다. 너무 감사합니다, Mary B님. 네. <웃음> you are amazing. Thank you for saying so. 네. Oh, JMT님, 처음 들었어요. 마련. Sometimes it's very similar with 준비, but like I said before, men, 준비 can be used either mentally or preparing materials but 마련 is only for materials preparing so 음식 마련 preparing for food for the party 파티를 위한 음식 마련 yeah, preparing for food uh, yeah, food pre preparing for the party 파티를 위한 음식 마련 And 내집 마련 is like 
preparing my house. You are maybe you are getting married or something like that, or just, not only that, just 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 any case you're trying to buy some house or maybe you're trying to buy preparing for the place to live something like that that is 내집 마련 how can i identify when a last part of a phrase changed the pronunciation from how it was wrote oh how can i identify when a last part of a phrase changed the pronunciation from how it was wrote uh maybe you if you can provide me some examples then I'll, i can answer better because mm, usually just usually you pronounce the way it is written usually so maybe i need a i need some examples for that buy something nice for your birthday oh 고맙습니다 메리빈 님 네, 생일 네, 좋은 거좀 살게요 <laughs> 감사합니다 it's not a verb. Oh, 마련하다. By the way, 마, uh, we covered 마련하다. And this one is a verb. 마련하다, like preparing. Uh, we have covered this one in week number 59. So, this time just 마련. Just 마련 itself is a noun. Mm -hmm. Good question, by the way. Uh, yeah, 하연님, 네, 안녕하세요. Google and Papago birthday. I took out a lot of loans for the ha for my house. Oh, it's like which one? oh this one the, the sentence. That's right. It's like for my house, like buying or preparing my house, like for my house. It came like that. So 대출 is like loan. 받았다 received a lot of loan for or to. Like prepare or buy my house, something like that. So that that translation is very accurate, I would say. So preparation, yeah, that's right. <laughs> 생일 축하합니다, 선생님. 태어나 주셔서 고맙습니다. <laughs> 행복한 삶을 살면 좋겠습니다. Oh, 덕분에 너무 행복합니다. I'm 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 really happy. Mm, thanks to you guys, everyone here. So thank you. <laughs> 네. And in this case, 마련이야, 마련이야 is like especially something 기 마련이야, 기 마련이야 is like easy to, or prone to, or bound to, or somewhere between those things. 마련. 마련 also has the second meaning from 몸하기 마련이야. Ah, that's right, that's right. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to say it now. So. Bound to happen, that's right. Inevitable, bound to, easy to, prone to, something like that. So, 소문, rumor. 수술 마련하고 있어요? Not really. 수술 준비, in that case, 수술 준비. Like mentally, ready, or you can do it now. Like something like that. 수술 준비. 마련. 수술 is more like a uh, action do the surgery right 마련 is like more 음식 마련 material 음식 마련 내집 마련 something like that so mm, not always the same with 준비 by the way that's what I'm trying to say now uh, uh, anyway 소문 rumors 부풀다 is like to be bigger to get bigger swollen something like that yeah. and Rumors are prone to, easy to, or bound to, like get exaggerated, something like that. That's what it means. 소문은 부풀려지기 마련이야. 네. 소문은 부풀려지기 마련이야. And 사랑에는, when it comes to a love, 아픔, the pain, is followed. So, when it comes to love, um, it's, it's bound to uh, the pain, is bound to following something like that after love there's a pain something like that that's what it means 사랑에는 사랑에는 아픔이 따르기 마련이야 so prone to bound to or like 
material is being prepared something like that that's Marion so I hope you guys understand what Marion means yeah. uh, Noel Nim oh uh, ho something ho 안녕하세요 I guess <laughs> 네. 안녕하세요 Noel Nim 반갑습니다 네. I don't, I'm not really good at Chinese characters by the way so <laughs> 네, the next one is 부동산 부동산 So, we have three examples. Do you know what it means? 부동산 부동산, what does it mean? 부동산 제가 이미 너무 아파서 사랑이 필요 없어요 <laughs> Um, I'm not sure if it's good or bad, but yeah, 사랑이 필요 없어요. <laughs> um, it's um, 아프다고요? 아, 아프지 않았으면 좋겠는데요, by the way. 뭐뭐 하는 법이다. It's like 사랑에는 아픔이 따르는 법이다. 아, 소문은 부풀려지는 법이다. You can say like similar way, similar way, but pop is more like one hundred percent the case. Sounds like that. Mm. Marionya is not like one hundred percent or something like that, mm, but still uh, very similar. So mm, that's right. And 부동산 real estate. That's right, Yannin Nim. Real estate. So meme buying and selling. It's like same sounds but different Chinese character. One is buying and the other one is selling. So buying and selling real estate. 부동산 매매. And 부동산 가격. Like real estate price. 많이 올랐다가 it was okay. 올르다 is like to go up a lot. So but in 최근에 lately a little bit 꺾이다 꺾이다 by the way there's a word 꺾다 꺾다 is like to break so and make an angle 꺾다 and 꺾이다 is like passive verb 꺾이다 and let's say I'll just don't give you a graph maybe the real estate price was go up and then goes up a lot then maybe 꺾이다 <laughs> maybe something like that that make an angle here 꺾이다 so it's like yeah just 부동산 가격이 많이 rose up a lot then um, 꺾이다 <laughs> this kind of shape so that's what it means 부동산 가격이 많이 올랐다가 최근에 살짝 a little bit 꺾였어. 음, so 부동산 real estate and 거기 거기에 부동산들 많아. Oh, sometimes uh, 부동산 refers uh, real estate, a uh, realtor, realtor, realtor. So there are many realtor places over there. 거기에 부동산들 많아. So, primarily it means real estate. Uh, but sometimes it can be like real estate. 중개사, I forgot the word. 음, 쉽게 설명하는 것을 좋아해요. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, uh, 부동산 simply real estate this time. So, Okay, next one. 신화. 신화. Uh, do you know what it means? 신화. 브로커, 브로커, maybe. Real estate broker. Something like that, maybe. 중개인. Broker. So, realtor. Oh, it came like that too. Mm. Thank you, Mary B. Nim. 네. So, 신화. 신화. Have you heard of it? 
신화 케이팝 그룹 오케이 <웃음> 신화 same 예, 신화 신화 but do you know actual meaning 신화 is like myth or mythology like the longest running boy band in K-pop history oh is that right? 신화 oh longest one oh I didn't know 건철아빈의 real tour yeah sometimes in real tour real real tour is that the pro right pronunciation by the way <laughs> real tour that's right 건철아빈님 and 신화 신화 is a myth or mythology so Greece Roma 신화 어, it means Greek Roman mythology like Zeus or something like that Venus or Venus or something like that mm. <laughs> so that's 신화 and sometimes World Cup 4강 진출 진출 is like advanced to a final four in World Cup in 2002 uh, Korean Japan Korea Japan World Cup during those World Cup the Korea has had advanced to the semi semi-finals 4강 the big four uh, which was at that point or still it was unbelievable but um, they made it so we call that as 신화 too like done, done something unbelievable <laughs> 신화 like some real surprise on me something like that it is actually from the late 1990s i i knew it was from 1990s but i didn't know it was the longest uh, running boy band in k-pop history so thank you for the information jeff myth that's right that's right so odin it does something like that so shina also can be something unbelievable something like that so world cup 4강 진출 신화 refers to the, the, the 2002 um, result Korea went to the semi-finals so 신화 primarily primarily means myth, mythology so and the next one is 직업 I guess most of you guys know what 직업 means by the way we have three examples Yeah, 직업, what does it mean? 직업. Mm, 직업. 직업. Job. Yeah, that's right, Mary B. Nim. Job. So, 내 직업이야. Simply, it's my job. <laughs> job, that's right. <laughs> so, it's my job. 내 직업이야. 설화. 설화. Uh, 설화 is less commonly used when it comes to a frequency mm, I can say that 설화 similar, I'll say that's similar but maybe give me some time to look up quick look up oh myth legend or just word a story all of them are included in 설화 설화 is more broader meaning and that's what it says but usually by words spoken words usually 설화 so there's a difference <laughs> but less commonly used that's that's i can that's for sure 네 직업 job so it's my job and 직업 선택 like choosing job selecting a job yeah i'm gonna do i'm, I'm gonna be something as a job uh, I'm, I'm gonna do this as a job like choosing so 직업 선택 네 코코아 790 i님 안녕하세요 반갑습니다 오랜만인 것 같네요 네 감사합니다 and 앞으로 in the future 앞으로 사라지다 disappear the jobs that will be disappear uh, that will disappear disappear in the future 앞으로 사라질 직업 
Mm. You know, world are changing so fast. It's getting faster and faster. <laughs> so uh, you'll be a lot better if you can pre predict the future. Uh, it will be a lot easier for you, but still, which is very, very, very tough and hard. So, <laughs> uh, 앞으로 사라질 직업, the, the job that will be disappeared in the future. So, 직업, job, simply job. 사라지다, 없어지다. So, 앞으로, 없어질, 직업, same thing. In this case, same thing. <laughs> 네. The next one, oh, this one is quite, quite hard to explain, I guess. Anyway, 거두다, 거두다. 사람들도 사라질 거예요. Oh, that's, that's very sad. <laughs> 네. Anyway, 거두다. We have yeah, six examples. 안녕하세요. 어떻게든 되겠지. Oh, 어떻게든 되겠지. Something will happen, so <laughs> 어떻게든 되겠지. <laughs> <laughs> 네, I will copy and paste these ones. Robot를, ah, robot. Ro, usually robot, by the way. Robot, or robot. Ro. Usually that's the way we write. Some, sometimes it can be robot. <laughs> but yeah, usually, I think this one is the standard spelling, something like that. Robot. So, robot. Yeah, robot to AI systems, a lot of those. Yeah, due to those things, robots, uh, there are so many jobs that will be disappeared. Mm. Anyway, 거두다, 거두다, it's like, uh, in this case, 천막, 천막 is sort of a tent, tent, uh, okay. Like there are two kinds of tent, like smaller ones. Smaller one is just tent. Maybe um, sorry for, maybe <laughs> I just wanna redraw again. Maybe there's a entrance. Like this kind of tent. Maybe some pegging over here. And this kind of tent is just tent. We call it. Tent, small, smaller ones, and when it comes to like large, well, I don't know how to draw it. And so that maybe big table, you can put some huge table inside. Those kind of thing we call it chonma. We differentiate tent and chonma. Maybe both can be translated as just tent in English, but in Korean it's just usually different. Uh, differentiate. Between those two, so 천막, 천막을 치다. You set up a 천막, set, setting up a tent. 천막, uh, but 친 어제 친 천막, the tent that you set up yesterday. And we're gonna do this tomorrow. 거두다 is like the opposite of setting up, like you. You use it, you kind of like install it, then you uninstall it, 거두다, something like that. Not exactly the same as install or uninst uninstall, but maybe it would be easier for you to understand. 거두다, 치다 is like the setting up, but tent, 거두다 is the opposite, you take away, something like that, <laughs> 거두다. So, I hope you understand what 거두다 means. 안 귀여워요, 고맙습니다. And okay, the next one, 낡다. Something is very, some machine or some cloth is getting old or something like that. 
uh, what was I? Mm. Wrinkling when it comes to like cloth or machine is getting like mm, ro rusty or something like that. Night or maybe just getting old. Breakdown or breakdown uninstall. Koduda. The same, uh, not really exactly the same, but similar, I would say. Koduda. When it comes to like tent or maybe some mat on a picnic, koduda, maybe. Mm. So maybe there will be a better English word. I'm not sure about that. Anyway, in this case, old machines, koduda, take away, like uninstall. In this case, maybe uninstall or break down or take away the old machines. Then take in, 들이다, make something, letting, let it in. So take, taking in new machine. Maybe 기계 들을. Since this one is plural, maybe another plural would be better. But doesn't make really matter. Uh, Koreans are not really strict about uh, plural things. Anyway, 낡은 기계들을 거두고. 거두고. There's a machine. 거두고. 새 기계들을 들였어. Something like that. That's what it means. 낡은 기계들을 거두고. 새 기계들을 들였어. <laughs> I replaced the broken machines with the new ones. Ah, something like that. That's right. Replace. In this case, yeah, 거두다. 거두, 거두다 doesn't really mean replace, by the way. <coughs> but in this case, 거두다. Take out. Um, in this place, um, these machines let it out. And new machines getting in. Strike a tent. I never knew such expression. Maybe strike a tent. Oh, something like that, yeah, something like that. Uh, I think that's right. Strike a tent. Oh, <laughs> thank you for the better translation, Japanese. Take down. Take away. Taking away. You, you don't use it anymore. And so strike a tent, maybe, yeah. So, and where was I? Okay. 눈물, oh. 눈물을 거두다. You're, you're tearing. Then you stopped. Kind of like in this case, 거두다 can be used as stopped. But in reality, it's very less commonly used. 눈물을 거두다. Usually, 눈물을 그치다. Almost always. But sometimes, maybe in some uh, novels, something like that, you can find this kind of expression. 눈물을 거두다. It's like stopped. Stopping to cry. 거두다. Stop. To stop crying. <laughs> to stop crying. I'm a native speaker and Jeff just taught me a new Oh, really? <laughs> it's pretty unusual for, for that use, but I think it's correct. I think so. I looked up and I think it's correct. <laughs> so, 눈물을 거두다. 거두고 and I started to work. Again, after I stopped crying, 눈물을 거두다. And 곡식 grains. It's a season to 곡식을 거두다. It's like 거두다. It's like there was in the 곡식 in the field 거두다. Maybe you take getting in like harvest. Also, it's a season to harvest. Crops or grains, something like that. 곡식을 거둘 계절이야. 거두다 can be used like that too. So it can be very confusing, but still 거두다. And in these two cases, uh, when it comes to taking an exam or go to a like Olympics or like sporting sports event, uh, you. Maybe ranked first place, second place. Like 좋은 성적, good grade, good 
performance good no R rank good uh, result something like that 뭐, 승리를 거두다 just simply you won you won 승리를 승리 is a noun 거두다 승리를 거두다 simply just you won so all the team members team won team members 열심히 노력해서 they worked hard they tried hard and then they won simply that's what it means 모든 팀원들이 열심히 노력해서 승리를 거뒀어 승리를 거뒀어 and 우리 형 like my brother 올림픽에 나가서 went out to an olympic games 좋은 성적 good performance or good result 거뒀어 good result 거뒀어 <laughs> just he made a good result something like that in the olympics 우리 형은 올림픽에 나가서 좋은 성적을 거뒀어 so I hope you can get what 거두다 means by looking at these examples you can be take something out 거두다 or take something to me 거두다 either way and sometimes it can be like to stop to do something so that's what 거두다 means 네, okay, the next one is 방학 방학 <laughs> I guess 링메링님 likes 방학 very much <laughs> Anyway, we have three examples for 방학 하나. 어. 그래서 방학 and 휴가. 음. 곡식을 거둘 계절이야. 모두 우리는 시작하는 돼. <웃음> <laughs> 네, by the way, it's used more in the theater or movies to strike a set. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you, Jeff. 네, 방학 means vacation. And 휴가 also means vacation. But do you know what's different between those two? That's a nice word. Yeah, that's right. Indeed. <laughs> Uh, language learning never sells. I, I, I also learning new Korean words too. So mm, that's the same. <laughs> 네. 방학, 휴가. When you are a like, student, when you are a student, like you know, elementary school, middle school, high school, or college, university, school, university, 방학 is like vacation, like summer vacation, like winter vacation. Uh, like vacation which lasts l at least two weeks maybe 10 days maybe 10 days at least 10 days or it can last like three months uh, depend on your country that's 방학 yeah school vacation exactly yeah. school vacation is 방학 <laughs> simply school vacation that's right and 휴가 when you have a job in the office, Hyuga, maybe you can take a day off, like single day or two days. Uh, it can be less like five days or maybe a week mm, if it's very long. And that, that is Hyuga in the office. When, where, where you work, you get the vacation for several days. That's Hyuga. So that's the difference between Pangak and Hyuga. So, 방학 시작 아 시작이다. 방학 시작이다. Yeah, summer uh, school vacation is starting. It's beginning of a vacation. Very exciting. <laughs> 방학 시작이다. And 여름 방학 simply summer vacation. 겨울 방학 winter vacation. 봄 방학. Uh, okay, in Korea, uh, 
I guess it's changed right now from the days I was a student. But still, like 여름 방학, 여름 방학 usually last about like 40 days or 50 days. Now it seems getting longer, but but still, and 겨울 방학 was pretty pretty similar when I was a school student, like I mean, about 40 days, maybe 45 days either way. But anyway. It used to be like that when I was a student. And 봄방학 uh, usually like very late February. It lasted, lasts usually about 10 days or something like that. 봄방학 10 or like 14 days. And just for information. <laughs> so there's our, there are 여름방학 and 겨울방학 and 봄방학 are existing in South Korea. Spring break. Oh, spring break. <laughs> 10 week summer breaks in. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> wow, 10 week. That's very good. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> 네. So, and 방학 때 제일 하고 싶은 게 뭐야? Uh, what is the thing that you want to do the most during the vacation? Like most, 제일 하고 싶다, want to do something. What is the thing that you want to do the most during the vacation? 방학 때 제일 하고 싶은 게 뭐야? 방학 때 제일 하고 싶은 게 뭐야? Yeah. 네, so 방학, vacation, school vacation. And Pom We, Pom We. Have you heard of it? Pom We. Yogu Pom Pada. I don't know why, but, but for some reason, it reminds me of 여수 밤바다. 여수 밤바다? Korean song. I guess it's the title is 여수 밤바다. <laughs> Maybe. For some reason, I don't know why. <laughs> 이번 방학에는 친한 친구랑 바닷가에 갈까 해요. Oh, that's very good. Very good. I hope you have fun with your friends. Yeah, visiting the beach, 바닷가, oceans, or something like that. <laughs> That's very good, Hyun Nim. Yeah, 아주 좋습니다. The Pomi, Pomi, Pomi is like a range. Like, okay, let's, um, uh, let's take my elbows or arms as an example. Pomi, I can stretch all the way here, and I can bend all the way to here. Like between these is range. Pomi, 각도 Pomi, angle. Pomi, it's like range, something like that, or scope. It can be like that too. Mm, that's it. <laughs> 네, Pomi. <me>. So, <laughs> 단서를 찾은 경찰은 the police, or sometimes it can be like policeman, who found the clue. 수사 범위, the scope of investigation, 좁혔어, narrowed. They narrowed the scope of investigation. Susa Pomi is like there are large area. And policeman has to find everything the all the way here. But after they found some clue here, they kinda narrowed the Susa Pomi like scope. Of investigation, something like that. 수사 범위를 좁혔다, narrowed. Range of motion, or something like that. Yeah, range of motion. Range, scope, range of motion. Yeah, 범위. So, and 내가 아는 범위, the range 
that I know. It's like as far as I know. Mm. Within, 안. By the way, 안에서, 내에서, same thing. 안 is inside in pure Korean way. And 내 is inside in Sino-Korean. In 안에서 and 내에서, interchangeable, same meaning. So, anyway, 내가 아는 범위 안에서 설명할게. I will explain within the range that I know. <laughs> Maybe my knowledge is kind of limited, but I'll try to explain within my knowledge. 내가 아는 범위 안에서. And 두, uh, 두 후보, 두 candidates, 오차 범위, like error, uh, when you do a poll, they, sometimes it's, it's not really accurate, you know. It's 90%, but it can be like 92%, 88%. 오차 범위. 오차 범위. So, 두 후보, they're... Okay, this like... Someone made a poll between two candidates. The, the one is like... 52% and the other one is like 48% and 오차 범위 the 오차 the, 범위 the, let's say it's the 5% 오차 범위 inaccurate rate 오차 <laughs> 범위 the range that can be can have an error or something like that or mistake something like that mm, 5% so it the difference is between uh, under the 5% this time is 4% right that's 오차 범위 이내 오차 범위 범위 내 inside the 오차 범위 so they are they are competing within the 오차 범위 so I'll you what 오차 범위 means understand what 오, 오차 범위 means a oh, margin of error oh, that's, that's 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 right I forgot that yeah margin of error very good <laughs> oh, to the best of my knowledge oh 오차, 아, 내가 아는 범위 안에서 that's good. 고맙습니다. 조사, 수사. Oh. 조사, 수사. 조사 is like inquiry, like to find something. Uh, but 수사 is kind of limited. What policemen do? 수사. Uh, in this case, 조사 also can be used, by the way. But 수사 is only used when a policeman or detector about the criminal thing, 수사, kind of limited in that case. And 조사 can be used in a broader way. I can do 조사. I can research about on this, uh, researching to figure out about the truth by looking up internet or go to the library, something like that. 조사, I can do that too. But I can never do 수사. Since I'm not a policeman or d detector or anything like that. So that's the difference between 조사 and 수사. That's a very good question, Kerry Nee. <laughs> 네. And, okay, this one. 시험 범위, oh. When there's an exam, they say, we're gonna do, make a question within this area this and um, from here from here like chapter in this case chapter from chapter 3 to chapter 5 시험 uh,범위 the exam covers from chapter 3 to chapter 5 oh 조사 has all, many different meanings by the way 조사 uh, practice is wrong 조사 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 also has different meaning, by the way, like particles in grammar thing. <laughs> 조사. Maybe if you can give me an example, then maybe I can say something about it. But still, yeah. 수사 is very limited to a policeman. Anyway, 범위 is range or scope or something like that. 범위. I hope you, what, you understand what 범위 means. And the next one is 조상. 조상. <laughs> That's why we are here in addition to the drawings. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Jeff, for liking my drawings. 조상. 
어, 설문조사 설문 itself 어, 설문조사 they both means poll or survey a survey yeah poll s p o l l poll or survey 설문조사 or just 설문 음. that's a good one Lim Lim, by the way yeah 조상 we have two examples 조상 소장 <웃음> intestines 소장 maybe just 장 장, 소장 but yeah either way this time 조상 조상 ancestor ancestor so our ancestor 이주하다 like moved here like 300 years ago move uh by the way i was trying i'm um, to explain about difference between 이사 and 이주 이사하다 like move in or move out your your place your from house to another house that's what 이사하다 and 이주하다 is more like moving into or moving out to or the other local area like in a town in a city in a country 이주하다 uh, that's different between those two so in this case our ancestor 이주하다 came into this place this local area or this country like uh, here 300 years ago yeah 우리 조상은 300년 전에 여기로 to here 이주했어 getting in and 코끼리, elephant 조상은 메머드야 메머드 메머드 is like 어... Uh, 메... is it double M? <laughs> possibly 메머드 메머드 is that? 메머드 어... 메머드 yeah, there I want to hear the difference. Oh. Mammoth. Mammoth. Okay, mammoth. Mammoth. So, 꽃길비. <laughs> 옮기다. 옮기다 is different. You let something move from here, from here. 옮기다. So, move and to immigrate. Oh, it can be like that too. To another country, immigrate. It can be like that too. Or just simply from Seoul to Busan. It can be like that too. 이주하다. Either way. And 코끼, the, the ancestor of elephants are mammoth. Mm, that's what it means. Ancestor. 조상. Ancestor. So. So, mm, simply 조상. Ancestor. ancestor. And 철학. 철학. We have three examples. 네. 예문 세개 있습니다. 철학. Uh, by the way, do you know what it means? 무슨 뜻인지 아시나요? 철학. 무슨 뜻인가요? 예. 1389번째 단어. 철학. 철학 음, maybe 3초 3, 2, 1 아니, 철학은 philosophy philosophy so 나는 나만의 철학이 있어 I have my I have my own philosophy 철학, philosophy created in 19th century 19세기에 만들어졌어요 oh. thanks for the information as well as the Chinese characters, 철학, philosophy, that's right. So I have my own, 나만의, okay, it's like 나만의, only me, like of and only me, and apostrophe and s, apostrophe and s, 나만의, uh, my own 철학. So I have my own 철, uh, philosophy. 
And my major is philosophy. 철학이야. 내 전공은 철학이야. And last one. Are you interested or do you have an interest in philosophy? 철학에 관심 있어? So philosophy, simply. Yeah, philosophy, 철학. And last word of today, which is 검다. 검다. We have three examples. 코끼리의 조상은 메모드. That's not true, actually. Both elephants and mammoth from a common. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Sorry about giving you a wrong, uh, wrong fact. Uh, not a fact. Uh, Sorry about that. Maybe I'll just delete it. <laughs> and thank you for your correction. Uh, descended from a common ancestor. Okay. Mm. What's the name Jeff name? And 검다. 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 검은색. 검은 고양이. 검은 개. 검은 나비. 검은 메이크업. 검은 화보. 검은 드레스. <laughs> oh, wow. Many good examples. Nigel sign name. 네. 고맙습니다 for that. 검다. To be like the, the color, like the pen. 이 펜은 검어, 검은색이야. Black. And 검은색. Black color 장갑. Glove. I buy, I bought a black glove. 색 can be dropped. It's fine. 검은 장갑. 검은색 장갑. Same thing. Same thing. And 털이 검은 강아지. A puppy, uh, the fur of a puppy is black. So, a puppy with a black fur. I guess it's called as fur. F U R. Fur. Uh, <laughs> just make sure. Fur. Okay. Mm. Puppy which has a black fur was too cute. 털이 검은 강아지가 너무 귀여웠어. And 화면, the screen, like computer screen, 검어. <laughs> like in standard spelling, 검어 is correct. But everyone say like 까매 or even 까매. 까매, uh oh. Even like 까매, something like that. <laughs> That's the way we pronounce in real spoken language, like, like always. But this, but still, 화면이 검해. The screen is black. 음. 화면이 까매. So 검다. Color is black. That's what it means. 검다. Which is the last word of today. So, yeah. So 검, 검다. 음. To be black. 철학. Philosophy. 조상. Ancestor. 범위. Like range. Uh, 방학, a school vacation, 거두다, maybe to take something out or to take something in, uh, something like that, 거두다, and 직업, like job, 신화, mythology, 부동산, real estate, and 마련하다, sounds like preparing for materials or prone to or bound to, something like that, 마련이야. So that's what we learn today mm, how was it i hope you have fun i have fun with you guys everyone here so thank you very much for tuning in and i hope you have fun learning something new as well so 네 오늘 수업 잘 들으셨나요 네 골튼 다음 주에도 oh the in the previous live session we did a mookie thing mm, we entered uh mookie was here right so Maybe Muki will be here like once every other weeks. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> so uh, I hope you like. Maybe it's better to do something different each week. So um, 
maybe you can learn vocabulary in this session and you can hear or uh, practice your listening with Muki mm, so every each other week so I hope you like that 거두다 야 어렵, 어렵죠 I know I understand 어, 야네님 저도 고맙습니다 어 고맙습니다 건철아주님 for having fun <laughs> Great as usual, and I'm glad people learn some new facts about longest running boy band and mammoth and striking tents. <laughs> says, "Wow, thanks to you, thanks to you." Yeah, you you make this live session a lot, way more worth. Worth is that correct grammar? <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, thanks to you, Jeff. 네 고마워 고마웠어 내 선생님 아라의 이 나올 거야 사랑해요 그냥 기억해 하나 할까 <웃음> It just that's a good way to pra, um, practice even though I I cannot understand fully understand but still I appreciate that 다음 토요일 새 단어 공부를 할 거예요 Maybe 그 다음 다, 가, 다음 주 yeah maybe pract um, Muki listening practice together and Kelly 님 저도 고맙습니다. 네, 하윤님, 어, 감사합니다. 저도 감사합니다. 네, 메리비님, 예, 네, 좋은 주, 조, 좋은 주말 되시길 바랍니다. 네. 네, 그럼 모두들, 네, 좋은 주말 보내시고, 한주 동안 또잘 지내시고, 다음 시간에 또 뵙겠습니다. 네, 고맙습니다. There's okay. Ah, now I'll find the buttons. <laughs> yeah, see you next time, everyone. Thank you.